Okay, so I'm going to play our local news um, and let it just play out. But in advance, um, the Health Human Services uh, of Mesa County does not have my consent uh, to give any of our four children uh, shots. Um, I think only one is of age um, to be um, legally... Uh, asked by the parents. So I'll run the news, then I'll go through the details. And if you've been waiting for the COVID vaccine for your child, now is your chance. Mesa County Public Health will officially be administering the shot starting tomorrow. Our reporter Gabriel Gonzalez is live with more. Gabriel, what can you tell us? The FDA approved the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine for kids six months and older. I spoke with Allison Sanchez, the Mesa County Public Health Clinic Service Manager, to talk about the importance of the vaccine and to find out just how safe it is for your child. Right now, the data is showing us that the vaccine is safe for all age groups. It's a decision many parents thought they would never have to think about, whether or not to give your barely two-year-old a vaccine to keep him or her safe from a worldwide pandemic. Now, Allison says it's safe and reliable, but you should do your own research, which includes talking with your doctor, figuring out if your child is a proper candidate for the vaccine, and researching online. CDC and FDA are always at the top of the list. Um, the ACIP is always at the top of the list. So I think that just making sure that you're looking at reliable sources and talking to practitioners, it's the best way to get the most thorough information. I spoke with one parent who said this is all about personal choice and being safe. She explained her family doesn't go to indoor places. They stick to outdoor venues, plus wearing a mask and taking all the proper precautions. And for her, Time will be the deciding factor on whether or not her kids will get the vaccine. It's just time. Time to see how uh, how the children will react or, you know, what the long-term effects are. She also said she'll wait to see how other children respond to the vaccine. According to the Washington Post, children ages six months to two years who take the Moderna shot have a 51% effectiveness in preventing the illness, which is something that Allison says is good news since a child this age is building their immune system. It's really a great time to get this in there as well as their, build, their body's already building their immune system. Um, it's really ideal for, for that timing. And I want to know what you think. Will your child be receiving the vaccine? If so, which one? And what was your deciding factor? I also want to know, why won't you get your child vaccinated? You can let me know at, at, on Facebook at Gabriel Renee Gonzalez, or you can tweet me at Gabriel Renee underscore. Thank you so much, Gabriel. For more information on the vaccine and how you can schedule an appointment, visit our article on our website. Okay. So... The first note is uh, Judicial District 21 has put an illegal restraining order uh, on me, and that includes the ex-spouse and three children. So with that given note, um, I could go down to the health department and give them, uh, <clears throat> sign something uh, effectively denying uh, the kids uh, uh, being petitioned for the shot. Okay, so the answer is no on that for all four of the kids, even though only one of them is old enough in the petition range. There's a reason why we have these uh, block controls um, so that data gets back to CDC correctly so they can access, uh, assess it correctly as well. Um, you know, three, um, variables is a pretty good standard to stick with. Uh, state of Colorado has it set that way. I'm not deviating from the law. Um, okay. So I'm going to back out of that. Okay. So I already went to the CDC website. And the first thing that I notice, uh, I can probably go ahead and zoom in here. Ah, I'm like standing on, my phone is standing on stilts, so very unstable.
Okay, give it a minute, maybe the focus will adjust better. bad about staying on the setting there. Yeah, this phone camera sucks. And it doesn't seem to matter what I do on any of the adjustments, it, it won't stay. Okay, so since it's having problems to focus, what it says here on the third one is that touching mucous membranes with hands that have been soiled either directly by the virus containing respiratory fluids or indirectly by touching surfaces with viruses on them. Okay, so for example, um, it's an airborne virus. Okay, so it lands on something. Okay, like your hands. Um, and let's talk about mucous membranes. So let's say a, a child sticks their finger up their nose and unintentionally injects the virus into the mucus. Not a problem. That's the point of the mucus. Okay, so the nose for a child uh, doesn't have, shouldn't have much of any kind of damage. It should start running just like uh, its normal reaction so that would be the first should be the first sign of an airborne one um, since it's not very clear or visible I'm not going to get into any more on that but what it says very specifically here under Colorado Rules Civil Procedure um, an E for personal service how they've got it set up is that they have to be at least 13 years of age and less than 18 years old. That is the lowest bracket that you can go to on a state level for an EDIS and you have to petition the parents. And it does say the person's father and mother they're not very good at their writing but that should be change to different um what is that uh, i can't remember what that <laughs> sentence break is but then it goes to the, the guardian or if there's none in the state then it goes into the care that the person is in which would imply uh the health department the state whatever so there's only one child that's legally eligible to be petitioned for it and the answer is still no. 